Welcome to Cooking with a Coach. First off, I would like to wish you all a wonderful New Year's. Tradition says that eating a bean dish on New Year's Eve will ensure wealth in the coming year. Maybe it's true. So I decided to share chickpea casserole with a little twist. And the twist is tamari soy sauce. Tamari is thicker and sweeter than regular soy and it has a really rich taste and I absolutely love in the combination with the casserole. You will find the recipe below if you'd like to give it a try. So since the pandemic, we have been through a lot in the last few years. In 2024, we are looking forward to a brand new beginning of long lasting happiness. We've all deserved it. And for the past few days, many of us probably are working on a list of New Year's resolutions that will help us to achieve those levels of bliss. The five most popular New Year's resolutions are exercise to get in shape, diet to lose weight, save money, eat healthier in general, and self-care. When you think back in the past few years, how many resolutions did you make every December 31st. What is the most you've accomplished? Please share it in the comments if you like. Out of curiosity, I've googled New Year's resolutions and over 200 million results came up. I'm not even going to try to act surprised. Life coaches and gurus around the world assist with making realistic resolutions and suggesting ways to stay on track. In my opinion, it's a bunch of bullshit. Stats say 8% of us keep New Year's resolutions, which means 92% of us forget about them the first week of January. What's up with that? Business Insider says people fail to keep their own promises because their resolutions aren't, aren't specific enough. However, my gut says it's just too hard. It's hard to change anything in our lives unless we're motivated by, by something, like, like fear, for example. In this case, a medical emergency. A lot of people, after getting sick, they really change their life. It is hard because we have formed some kind of habits over the years. And the second the calendar flips to the new year, it will be almost impossible to do all the things that we want to change like quitting smoking, changing our diet and exercising regularly. To change your life for the better, you have to change your mindset first. And this is the hardest part because your own mind is the hardest prison to escape. But if you succeed, it is the most rewarding freedom ever. Self-awareness helps you to create a better transformation plan. You'll be able to make stronger decisions once your target is clear. Next, you'll have to change your habits. Since the mind is good at what it has always done, you've got a lifetime of habits to relearn. Don't expect this to happen quickly. Study says that new habits can take between 18 to 254 days to form and new behaviors become automatic after 66 days. So give yourself time. Be aware that unrealistic expectations can lead to unnecessary anxiety, stress, guilt and depression. Habits require three things to work. A stimulus, a behavior and a reward. And here are some examples like uh, smell smoke, light a cigarette, get a nicotine hit, clean your house, light up a candle, get a pleasant smell, and, uh, and a sound of alarm clock, getting out of bed, grogginess. By the time we become adults, we rarely notice the habits that are running our lives. Most of us never give a second thought to the fact that we tie the same shoe first each morning, or unplug the toaster after each use, or always change into comfortable clothes after getting back home from work. These patterns of thinking and acting are automatic after decades of mental programming. Having understood how habits work, let's talk about how to change them. One of the most undervalued keys to changing a habit is to replace one or more pieces of the puzzle. The first 10 times it's gonna be, it's gonna suck. 
and you'll, you'll hate it. The good news is that the next 25 times won't be as bad. And by the 50th time, you'll finally stop caring and will be able to focus on what's important instead of what some ancient biological response our body thinks is important. You will be able to get into the comfort zone without any effort. We do know that anything that's worth doing, it's going to be hard. Don't bother trying if you're not willing to face some consequences or failures. Be prepared because it's going to look and feel impossible. But remember that few things actually are impossible. And here's where you can take a very good look inside yourself and ask, why am I doing this? And your answer should be very strong and personal. Otherwise, you're not going to make it. You'll quit. If you decide to quit after three or five or seven attempts, you're choosing the most inefficient and wasteful time to quit. The most efficient time to quit is before you even start. Pushing yourself to achieve the seemingly impossible is a normal part of the process, but when you get through it, you're going to see the benefits. Again, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I would really appreciate your feedback in the comment section. As always, my sincere gratitude goes to all subscribers. And as 2024 is knocking on our door, I would like to welcome it with renewed hope, courage and inspiration as we bid farewell to 2023, bringing with us the valuable lessons it taught us. Happy New Year!